Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Atomic Carbon Fiber BEDG. Stay tuned. So why am I here to talk about this atomic carbon fiber PETG? Well, it was given to me free at MRF and I showed it off in my goodies video. If you didn't get to see that video, then you can go right up there, right up there. But anyways, uh, so I said I was going to review it. So I had an idea for something to print and I printed it all except for this so I'm gonna talk about what happened when I was printing I did have a little bit of problems at the beginning but once I got those problems sorted out this stuff printed fantastic so let's talk about what happened to begin with and uh, talk about a little bit of my settings and then we'll show you some of these parts so I set up, at first, I kind of set myself up for failure because I made a, a tweet about doing a torture test with a, a special nozzle and some of this carbon fiber and I threw it on my CR-10, but I was still having problems before I put the, that special nozzle on and my hot end was just going through thermal, so I tried to do a little bit of troubleshooting and I couldn't fix it, so I ended up going over to Yolanda, my Mono Price Maker Select, which is pretty much stock, except for I put the Micro Swiss uh, all metal hot end with the stainless nozzle on it. I made a video about that. If you didn't get to see that, I'll put a card up there for that as well. But on the CR10 with that special nozzle, and I was having some temperature issues I had some failure right up here at the top on a couple of parts this part as well which was just a, a trying to print the first one uh, the, again but if you see it I started out within the, the, the low end of the temperature range that's recommended on the spool of 240 to 265 I was at like 240 ended up bumping it up five degrees throughout and so I got to the top and I was at 260 and it was printing nice but then of course the printer failed once I switched over to the all metal hot end on that guy I started to get perfect looking parts now, just a little bit about my settings. This is actually printed at a 0.3 millimeter layer height with a 50% infill. Now the thing about printing with PETG is you wanna print it slow and let it just ooze out and stick to itself. If you get to the point where you're coming around corners and you see it kind of dragging, uh, that's an indication that you want to slow it down. If you get to a point where uh, it's kind of like balling up on the tip of the, the nozzle, uh, my suggestion is turn the temperature down a little bit. And uh, of course, if you're not extruding, then you need to turn your temperature up. But speed is the biggest thing with PETG. Now I'm not going to show you all these parts because that's for a project that I got coming up in a future video. So if you want to see what this project and what these parts are all about, make sure that you're subscribed. You hit that notification so you know when my next video is coming up, up and that way you'll know because once I, I ran out of this, talk a little bit about more about that. So once I switched over to the Maker Select, I, uh, my first print, 
I had a little bit of bed warpage so I had to make a little bit of a, an adjustment but once I got an adjustment you saw the, the quality of the parts that's coming out but then we come to this part here which was the last part that I got and this is literally how much I had sticking out of the extruder and of course that was supposed to be a little bit higher with a couple of screw holes for mountain but you'll get to see the uh, actual part that I printed to replace but I ran myself out of carbon fiber PETG but I did get quite a bit of parts it was just a sample roll anyways so now as far as carbon fiber PETG I did do a research online and there aren't too many brands out there it is a little bit on the pricey side but you're you're getting quality and of course once you get your PETG settings I did end up printing like I said 0.3 millimeter 260 degrees 50 degrees on the bed at 30 millimeters per second with uh, simplified 3d and this was the results another thing about atomic it's actually made right in America actually in Indiana I got to I didn't get to see inside of where it's made but they're actually like really close like really close to where CME CNC is if you know where that is I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get some if you want there's no affiliate link I'm not being paid for this I got a free sample so I told you I would review it if you like this video make sure that you hit the like button make sure that you subscribe so that you see what I actually printed being put together with this PETG carbon fiber from Atomic Filament. Thanks everybody for stopping inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing and be safe pouring.